How's it going, my little chickens? My name's Super Chicken76, and welcome to episode 11 of my Psycho for 2 Let's Play. We're gonna start episode 6 with this big red hairy dude. So let's go do it. Hold on. Hey. Canada? As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Oh. Heh <laughs> Shining reference. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river, and chopping down all the trees, with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the claw gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. Sly Cooper and the gang in... He who tames the iron horse. I almost said wild horse there. Anyway, can I buy any new abilities? I probably can't. Oh my god, I need that. Eh. Oh my god, I need that. Okay, well anyway, in the meantime... Okay. How do I pickpocket this guy? Oh, that's all? Fine. Oh, there's a train! Wait, why don't I just ride you? Or you could just get run over. Let's try this again. There we go. So we can just take this train to wherever we want to go. Whee! This is fun. Okay, mission over there. And this is my stop. Yeah, yeah, don't want to go in that cave. I just now realize this area has the worst guard. Well, maybe not maybe in the game, but... These guards are annoying. Well, when you see them, you'll know what I'm talking about. Ah! Gosh, I don't care. That did little damage. Can you fall off and die? Bye bye. Hey. Yeah, pretty much jump and press the circle button to do everything. 
Iron Horse Blueprint. Excellent. Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. No, hold on, Bentley. I want to listen to this conversation. So that was an interesting conversation. We learned about some things. Okay. Okay, I'll just wait for him to get away from the door. And now. Eh. Down down. Oh Canada. Okay, let's go there. This guard. This guard is annoying. From the sounds they make. That. And you're dead. Oh, trust me, they'll get more annoying later. Yep, just like I thought. Get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints. Yee! Iron Horse Blueprint. What the frick? Yee. Just wait for you to go. Freaking annoyance. Cut ahead to when I get to the next section, so yeah.
Iron Horse Blueprint. Exceptional work, Sly. That's the last of the blueprints. Oh, but it interrupted John Basson's message. Yeah. Get out. Get away. This is a bear trap right there. So we go up to the very top of the mountain thingy. Oh, it's an eagle. It's all on my computer for free. Some kids like electric trains, and some kids like to use their brains. Something, 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 something. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. Yeah. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stuck. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. Let's see. One, two... Seriously, is that it? Just two slime missions? Okay then. Down, down. Oh my god. Hey. And Sly's hat's glitching again. She's here? Don't worry, Bentley. I know how to handle her. But I don't know where she's locked up, Murray. I'm used to having all the bags. Calm down. Carmelie does not cruel like the Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay, that's that's a good plan. Just don't get caught too. I don't want to be alone again. Aww. That's sad. Okay, so... I believe we just have to detail her. The heck is she doing? She's just jumping all over the rock. So we're just tailing Carmelita. Okay, that was an unnecessary leap. I mean, you could just like just walked over there, but no, you just had to jump off, jump up, and be a show off. Huh. Ha! She says. Oh, there she goes, shaking her fist like in the first game. Livia, these are spotlights, huge. Right outside our hideout. I hope she doesn't see the van. 
Or else she'll know that we're here. That would be bad. <laughs> oh, come on later. Shaking your fist into the air. At the air. That guy just like shrank to death. You killed the duck. <gasps> Murray, that's where you are. He has a name, you know. Locus shocked if you hold still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. Won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. You mean Captain Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. Okay. Murray, I've come to break you out. Bad chance. This thing is triple padlocked and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. Come on, buddy. You know I'm an expert at pickpocketing. She's tough, Sly. If you manage to get a key, you'd better run for it. Carmelita's sure to notice and chase after you. Leave her to me. Okay. Ah. What the heck? That an insane amount of damage. Yeah, I remember earlier in the game I got, like, attacked by, like, a freaking big god. And that attack hardly did any damage on me. A freaking smaller enemy to cost like half of my health. Oh. Cooper. Cooper. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, come get me. <laughs> oh, jeez, come on, leader. Up, up. <laughs> what the heck? You just got hit by a train. <laughs> Oh my god, that is brilliant. Justice will find me. There's nowhere to hide. What the heck? She's falling off. That was freaking funny. Um, hello? Come later? Uh, yeah. Did I glitch her? Maybe if I get caught, maybe that'll help. Yep, that helps. Now, yeah, kill him. Kill the guy. Or not. Oh my gosh. That was pretty funny. She got hit by the train. Ah, uh, brilliant. Anyway, let's get the second key. Oh my god, seriously? Oh, never mind. Ha! She says. I felt that thing. Ah. Uh. Is Carla even still following me?
Yep, get away. She got hit again. Oh my god, this is freaking priceless. Okay, just wait for her to continue moving. Um. Ah! And I died. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me I have to start again. Oh, thank god I don't. Okay, right over there. Let's get her. Charlie horse. Do, 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 do. Okay, next mission over there. Don't no, you dare knock me off, thank you. Ah, uh, okay, over there. Okay, how do I get up there? Uh, hold on. Okay, Slime. We need to break into the Iron Horse trade. Oh, I like this mission. This one. This one's my destiny. That did it. You got a full tank of gas. Time to land on a caboose. Okay, this part can get tricky. Dun, dun. Oh crap. Oh wait, never mind. Yee. Eh. 
Here we go. Our Skeeter's gonna hit the train track above me. Whoa! How epic! Oh, the banjo is playing in the background as the music. How elegant. And boing. Whoa, boing. Whoa. Okay, I got it. I got it. Hey. And there goes another one. Me and Murray at the ice plate. You guys are doing great. There's just one caboose left. One more caboose. Try not to get blown up. Yeah, okay. Okay, what train do I have to go to? I don't know. You're full up on gas. Target the last caboose. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Maybe I should go on this balloon? Yep, just to be safe. Okay. There we go. We did it! Yes, you guys did it! All the iron horse trains are unlocked! Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now there's a Bentley mission. Dun, dun. Bentley... And that's it. Bentley, you're up, buddy. Attention, man. Oh. This here's John Masson. That was a quality job you boys did in unloading the spies on them boats. So did I. I'll have one of them special Iron Horse trains come by and pick it all up for distribution. Stay sharp, and once this year's spies business is taken care of, we'll have ourselves a hot party. Go out into the woods and kill us some bears, eh? Yeah. should be passing by any time now. I, I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. Okay, that's the one I'm looking for. Eh. There we go. Okay, I need to find the right opportunity! Ah! Okay, that did it. Whoa! And whoa! And whoa! Why? Boing! Okay. Oh my god! Eagles! Ah! Avoid the eagle beagles! Eh! And eh! And eh! Yeah! And eh! Boing. And there we go. Up these things. Oh my. Oh no, 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 no. Oh Jesus, how did I not get caught? Uh, 
I'm guessing that's the wrong way. This way? Oh. Oh, wait a sec. A hole. And let's go. universe is weird. I mean, it's like some animals are anthropomorphic and others aren't. It's, it's strange. Okay, I may start Murray's mission and then I'm gonna have to end it. Eh, okay. How did I not get caught? Okay, up there. Wait, I can use this. Eee, made it. We'll need this ham car to chase down iron horse number three. But for the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. A battle's too resilient for my bobs or your muscles. So, for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother or her child. What? Uh, you got something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile Oh my god. Cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, they Glitch. surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Boys from the squabble should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence, no problem, to free her cubs. That's correct. Oh Beware my god. Cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. Oh, finally, that freaking audio glitch is done. Where's the bear? Where? 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 Where bear? Care bears? Haha. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so we just gotta hit the bear and then that. Oh my god, freaking whatever you are. In the next episode, we'll do what Brentley says and get that second bear, so see you then, and goodbye.